Alrighty guys, welcome back to a Star Wars review. Today I'm uh, reviewing the book about Fett, Chapter 3, The Streets of Moss Espa, which was written by uh, John Favreau and directed by Robert Rodriguez. It was released on January 12th, 2022. So yeah, I'm a little bit late on doing this review. Normally I get them out right away. I've just been lazy this week. <laughs> so yeah, episode, no, I thought it was alright. There's a lot of stuff I really liked in the episode, but there's just a few moments, really just one more so, I just did not like. Um, The one moment I en enjoyed some of it, some of it I just wasn't as much, but there's one moment I just, I thought playing on, I just sucked. Um, but um, some of the stuff I liked, there was a cold fight with Black or Santin was great. Um, there was a scene of a rancor, which was really great. Uh, and... You know, uh, flashbacks, I, you know, didn't like, but for a different reason this time, uh, which I'll get into that more in a moment, uh, reasons I didn't like it beforehand were, because I just didn't think the story, uh, kind of had much going on in the flashbacks in the present day, it just didn't really feel like they connected too much, this time they connected, and I really liked that, and there's something else about the flashback that I just didn't enjoy. Uh, but, uh, the thing we're playing out sucked, um, which you probably already know is a speeder chase at the end, which is very weird, um, so yeah, but, you know, I'll just kind of break it all down, um, episode has, starts with a moment with this guy named Lorth Appeal, he's played by, uh, Stephen Root, you know, he's probably the most well known for, um, Office Space, uh, but, um, he tells uh, Boba that there's these youths uh, stealing his water supply. And so Boba uh, heads to Mos Espa to deal with it. And he finds this uh, biker gang, which have some very, like, colorful, like, 50s, 60s looking speeder bikes. Um, and they're all, them themselves are all kind of, have, like, uh, cybernetic uh, enhancements, I guess. Uh, but, um, you know, the, the speeder bikes, they're a bit odd looking. Kinda like them, uh, so, yeah, and they're a little goofy, but, you know, it's, it's something about what I actually kinda like, but, um, you know, Boba finds out that they're stealing the water, and because, uh, Lorith of Peel is, uh, overcharging for the water by a crap ton, and, you know, it's hard to find work in a Moss Espa, so, you know, they have to resort to stealing, which, you know, uh, Boba offers them a job to work for him. Which, uh, Lord of the Peel shows up and gets upset. But, you know, Boba tells him off, uh, for, you know, selling water at an extreme price. And tells him to lower the price. Uh, but uh, then, you know, we see them, uh, return to the palace. Boba goes into the back tank. Has another flashback. Which, like I said, I didn't like the flashback, but for a completely different reason. Um, you know, this time I thought the story in the flashback had a lot, um, you know, connection with the present day stuff, um, mainly because of, um, the bikes, uh, in the flashback and they appear in the present day stuff. Uh, there was one thing I didn't like about the flashbacks, it was more of a nitpick. Um, Boba heads into Moss Eisley to meet with the bikes, uh, but when he's rolling into town on the Bantha, he looks over and sees Pelimoto and her pet droids walking uh, through the city. Makes sense. Now, obviously, that's the only place we've seen them at in the Mandalorian. But just something I don't like uh, when stories do this is something like that. It's just kind of pointless. No need for it. Um, but, you know, this is more nitpicky. It's not really a big deal. Um, and then ruin my enjoyment of, uh, the episode, uh, but Boba deals with the, uh, pikes and leaves and heads back to the Tuscan camp, where he finds it, you know, in a raided, and, you know, the Tuscans are all dead, which, um, the scene, uh, did work, and Tamir Morrison was great in the scene, uh, whatnot, uh, but I just wasn't a big fan of Tuscans. Uh, dying, um, 
I kind of was hoping that they would come back into the present day uh, stories and and whatnot. Uh, and just wasn't into them being killed off off screen. Also, you know, it just felt kind of rushed in a way. I guess just kind of get it over with. Uh, but yeah, but you know is. Follow up with the scene I really liked. Uh, Boba gets ripped out of the back tank by Black Crescent. And they have this big fight. Because, you know, Boba doesn't have his armor on and whatnot. He has to resort to um, other ways to fight. Black Crescent either was his fist or, you know, he picks up his uh, gaffy stick and uses that. Which I really like that. Because, uh, you know, it's like the easiest thing for him to grab. And, you know, I just really enjoyed this fight. Eventually... The Gamorrean guards, the biker gang, and Fennec help Boba out and uh, lead Biker Sand downstairs and then into the Rancor pit. Obviously, there's no Rancor in there yet, so. Yeah, but, um. Then, uh, I believe, um, you see Boba and Fennec having, like, dinner or something like that later. And, uh, Boba doesn't want to, you know, feast too much. Um, but, uh, then the, uh, Hut twins. Uh, arrive at the palace suddenly, and so Bubba and Fennec head out, uh, side to the front gate, and speak to them with the, uh, captured Black Crescent, uh, which, you know, the huts reveal that another group has actually taken claim to Tatooine, and, you know, they therefore aren't taking claim to Tatooine anymore, and, you know, they, uh, give Bubba a gift for sending Black Crescent uh, Adam, which is, uh, a Rancor, which, um, Danny Trejo is playing the, uh, Rancor's Keeper, which is, uh, funny, but, um, you know, the, the, the twins leave, saying, you know, they're heading back to Nalhada and don't want a, a war, uh, you know, to be in a war right now, but, um, Boba then, uh, releases Black Crescent, telling him that, you know, dealing with the huts, you know, isn't worth it and whatnot, uh, and so, you know, Black Crescent runs away. Hopefully we'll see him later, teaming up with Boba and whatnot. Uh, but uh, then there's a great scene with Boba and Danny Trejo in the Rancor. Uh, Danny Trejo, you know, uh, tells Boba you know, all about Rancors, how they're actually these gentle creatures, um, you know, dealing with their masters and whatnot. And I guess... Uh, he has a blindfold over the Rancor, saying that, you know, the first person the Rancor sees, they take a liking to, and, and you know, so, um, you know, Boba asks, uh, Danny Trejo if, you know, he can teach him how to, uh, you know, ride one, take care of one, and whatnot, which, uh, he says, you know, it takes a lot of practice, but they can do it, uh, which, then Danny Trejo takes the blinds, blindfold off and, you know, allows the Rancor to see Boba, uh, and there's a great, you know, bonding moment between Boba and the Rancor, which I, uh, really liked, uh, but, uh, then they, um, Boba and Fennec head into, uh, Mos Espa to talk with the mayor, who is conveniently not available, and, you know, and there's a building place and talk to the ma- uh, Major Domo, who, uh, you know, says, uh, the mayor's busy, but he'll see what he can do, which he then makes a run for it, um, and that's when this really bad speeder chase happened, he's, like, in a speeder, and the biker gangs are, you know, following him on their bikes and whatnot, uh, which, uh, the reason it didn't work is because it felt very slow, the speeders are going slow, and it's just, it just was kind of bad, uh, you know, it was a big final moment of this episode, so, you know, it just, it just was really painfully, obviously slow, it just was not good in that aspect, um, it was a very, also tropey, uh, you know, speeder chase, running into stuff, uh, and all that, um, so, you know, it just fell off, and I just didn't really like it that much. Uh, but they eventually, uh, you know, get the uh, Major Domo, 
who reveals the mayor is working with the Pikes, which later we see one of the uh, biker gang members at uh, Landing Bay at Mount Sespa, who uh, you know, sees a bunch of Pikes arrive on this big ship, which he then tells uh, Boba that. And then uh, the episode ends with uh, Boba telling Fennec that, you know, they're going to have to go to war with the Pikes. Uh, so yeah, uh, like I said, there's a lot about this episode I really liked. Uh, the fight with Black Sin, um, you know, the Rancor scene, uh, like all the stuff with the criminal syndicate stuff and whatnot. I do hope we get an actual, like, main villain soon. Um, there's maybe a main Pike, if the Pikes end up being the true villains of the series. Uh, you know, I, I hope we get one soon. Uh, just... So there's something like that, um, you know. I also enjoyed the stuff with the Biker Gang and Lord of the Peel at the start of the episode. Stuff with the Huts and whatnot. But that speeder chase scene just sucked so bad. Uh, and I wasn't a big fan of Tuscans dying, but that's something I can, you know, look the other way with. But uh, the speeder chase just was so bad. Uh, just really dragged down the episode. It's honestly, uh, you know, out of any like action y moment in Star Wars, it's probably my least favorite out of anything from Star Wars. It's just, it's just that bad. Uh, so, you know, it just it really dragged the episode down because it was a, it was at least four minutes of probably screen time uh, of a 38 minute episode. So, it's a decent bit of an episode, so, you know, it just, it might have even been, like, more like six minutes, but I, you know, it, it just wasn't good, so, um, yeah, but, you know, so, I don't know, it was a great episode, a lot of really great moments, but I'm just, one plain out bad moment, uh, it would really just drag the episode down way too much, um, and, um, you know, also, I just wasn't a big fan of the Tuscans dying, too. That was also something I just didn't like that much. Um, so, yeah. But, uh, anyways, my grade, I'll give it a B-. minus. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, the next episode comes out on Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll actually do a review right away this time. So, you can check that out then. But, I've been sorry for you, and I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one. I intend to rule with respect. captains under Jabba the Hutt. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. Why speak of conflict?